I'm the production manager at the Globe. Part of that job is to sort of design how all the scenery and stuff like that goes together. And when the, the designer and the director come to me sort of early stages before rehearsal starts with a little computer model of what they want, our first thing to do is to try and work out how to make that 25 times bigger and do it in a way that we can turn it around every day and do it so that it is safe and it doesn't fall down on people when they're rehearsing or playing. We use designers a bit more than I feel like they would have done 400 years ago. I think they would have just turned up with the text and some costumes and a couple of goblets and some swords and done the shows. Do you know what I mean? I don't think they would have built a load of truss and smoke machines and huge fans and lighting and stuff like that. I don't get stressed in the, in the lead up to it, but more often if you're watching the first few performances, and there's a particularly sort of technical moment. If you've got an actor flying in through the trapdoor, for example, on a winch, it's kind of out of your hands a little bit by then, and you sort of, I do spend a lot of time with my fingers crossed. So we have just taken down this morning our production of Imogen, which is in technical rehearsals, and this afternoon there's a matinee performance of Macbeth, and that's what's going in right now. Great work in here, it's a beautiful place to work. There's something about being next to the river and there's something about the architecture of our building. I've worked in many theatres and it's not, uh, a lot of the time you get locked up in the dark and here it's, well as you can see today, it's a nice day so we, we, you know, we get a bit of sunshine and fresh air and I think it keeps people in a good mood. I do feel like the building and the people that I work with as well, more important than the literature, yeah. I do feel more connected to the building because of its nature, you know, the fact that it's got a, a thatched roof and it's all timber. It's much easier to relate to, I think, as a piece of architecture. I mean, it feels a bit more, I want to say organic, but that sounds rubbish, but I, I kind of mean it's closer to us because it's, it's hand-made materials and stuff like that. It's tangible and it feels much more, much more personal than it would if I was sort of putting a raw plug in a piece of concrete. My kids do think it's the coolest job ever. Whenever I bring them here, I can't drag them away. They're sort of in tears when I try and get them out of the building. Because they think, that, they think that I'm famous because I work at the Globe. And so whenever they come here, they're sort of straight on the stage doing cartwheels and stuff like that. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.